Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our admin logout, right? So right now I want to do, I want to create one of the page as a admin logging page. And here I want to create another custom page. If you go to our theme, into the theme area, if you go to, they have also some of the authentication page. If you go to that authentication, there is a register page, there is a logging page. So, so for the admin, I want to create that logging. Now you can see that is one of the page. So now I want to do, I want to load this page uh, that is in our main and pages, auth and logging.html, right? So first of all, I want to do, I want to create another route as admin logging. If you want to create it, if you go to our web route, into the web route here, also one thing you have to understand. You have to do, you have to access our admin logging without logging right so here we have to must uh, understand this part because here first of all that will be check our auth that means user is logging or not and also after that it should be check as a user is admin or not right so here for, for the reasons i want to do i want to make it outside of our um, admin okay that means admin group middleware and there is our agent group middleware and after that i want to paste it okay now here i want to create another new one that will be as a admin login okay i want to create this type of one of the url and our route name you can also assign as a admin login i want to create another one as a admin login okay now this type of, one of the method i want to create and i hope you get that point why i'm actually using that outside in here that means why i'm actually using that route in our outside of this because here without logging you cannot able to access it right so for the reasons here i make it in here now i want to create as a admin logging one of the method in our admin controller now if you go to our admin controller here only we have to return one of the view page so that will be as a public and then function and our method name will be as a admin login and i want to better make it as a um, and method here only we have to do we have to return one of the view page that will be the return view return view will be in our which page that means i want to better make it as in our admin uh, if you go in our resources view in our admin folder here i want to actually create another new page okay here i want to create another new page as admin underscore locking doll okay so here that will be as admin locking this type of one of the page i want to create now let's create it i copy it now in our admin area i want to create another new file now click as a save as name it as admin logging dot blade dot php okay here i simply created this page and in our admin logging here if you go that is actually our not related with our dashboard right if you go to our go back you can see in our dashboard that is us they have some of the sidebar header and footer but in our auth page they have no nothing so here we have to actually load it individually like that is our main pages auth and all logging dot html now i want to go there like if you go to our exercise folder and here that is in our pages and then we have to do we have to go to that our pages auth and logging.html so that means here that will be in our auth and then that is our logging html right now i want to open with the sibling sibling text editor i want to copy everything from here and now in our admin logging area here we have to paste it Okay, so as I told you here, we have to load it individually. So better I remove it, that will be for the admin logging. Okay, I better make it as admin logging page. Okay, and then our process will be the same that I have already done. I hope at that point it's very clear to you. Now I want to better make it as an asset. Okay, asset and asset will be here, right? And now I want to do and to simply update things that things in our all css selected by the control now i select it select it and i paste it at a time now we have to do we have to update i simply cut it okay i cut it and then i paste it the same process we have to do that i have already done for our admin dashboard because that is actually a different template different design so here they have no link up with our main admin dashboard right in our admin dashboard they have some of the sidebar header footer so for the reasons here individually i want to do and to load it I paste it. Hmm, great. And also we have to update, make the sure you load everything perfectly. And then we have to go our footer. Here also they have some of the um, JS file for a specific this page. Now I want to update the asset. And then that will be the same process. Better I copy it. And here also I want to update it. Great. 
now I want to cart it okay cart it and then here I paste it I want to cart it and then here I paste it I want to cart it and then here I paste it hmm great great so friend that's all now let's check this out it's successfully working or not if you now click as a save all okay if you click as a save all right now that should be written redirect to our admin locking when you want to access that admin locking right i copy it and now if you go i want to now click as a enter hmm perfect you can see it's now successfully loaded but that is not functional right here i want to do on to update a little bit so here if you want to update that is in our admin locking now we have to go our process will be same that means our default one okay that will be the same right now we don't need it header i want to better minimize it right now i'd close it and close it great now into the admin locking page here um, there have also some of the form okay and so on to update as easy okay easy yes why easy learning okay easy learning great welcome to your logging page that is one of the form form is started form is ended great great and now also that is on the button if you go there is a logging so here we don't need the twitter button okay i want to do and to twitter mm, here we don't need this twitter i want to remove this icon okay that is the locking on the head if i want to take one of the actually button i simply close it and now that will be on type type i make it as a submit type okay that will be the submit type great and also here i name it as a locking locking great now check it now click as a save all now refresh it hmm, perfect you can see now that is actually our locking email and password okay so email password every functionality will be just like that same before like if you go in our default logging into the default logging i have already done it right you can log in with the name email and phone whatever the things i have done in particular that position you can actually apply the same things in here now let's do that works our default page is in in our wish place that is in our resources view and then in our auth and that is our default page okay from to the default i want to actually copy it like there have some of the text i want to copy it just for um, education purpose i want to actually create this page as a admin logging page then that will be actually look at it like here you can see that is on the level level i want to update i want to update with this one uh, sorry here i want to copy it and now that will be here right i paste it and they have some this space i remove it great now that is in the name there is email name and phone great okay great and then there is the input type everything will be same that i have done in here that is a locking also to update the level for as a locking and the input type as a text type right so that will be the text type id will be as a locking and also name name should be needed name will be as a locking right here i have already done the same things for our default one and also there is a form action here that will be also needed action that will be default locking i copy it now here that is also another form there are some of the method will be needed method will be as a post method and also action action will be default one okay I want to use the default everything i want to just simply replace this code in here and also our csrf token will be needed i copy it now that will be our csrf token okay now that is our form and input field name will be needed id will be needed and then text right so here if you go that is also that is a logging id the name as a logging mm, perfect and type as a text type and password also we need the type name and then id so also if you go there is another field as a password and for the password i want to type as a password id i want to make it as a password and also um, there is a name will be needed i want to take that name name will be as a password great so friend that's all now let's check this out if you now click as a save all now there is a two okay there is a one for the name and that is for the password okay now i want to check it if you now go refresh it okay i want to refresh it now to logging with the name as the admin 
password i want to don't access it as a one 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 now logged in hmm perfect we are successfully logged in right and also here i want to do when you successfully log out okay here when you log out now you can see it's returned direct to our default user logging page i have already created another custom page for the admin now i want to update that i have already done in our admin controller here you can see now i want to load our url that i have created that will be as a admin login okay i want to update it when admin will be log out that will be written redirect to our admin logging url great okay now let's check this out click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it and also want to better <laughs> logging with the admin logging admin slash logging enter successfully done admin and password 111 now i want to press that login hmm perfect successfully now i am logged in if you now click as a logout now that should be written direct or admin logging great and also they have some of the images i have already created this type of the image if you want to access it if you go to your main course and here you can see there is a one of the logging png so now this type of, one of the logging png i want to load in here i copy it and now in our project into the project better in our public area i want to create another new folder all that our images i will actually add in particular that area i want to create another new folder as upload okay into the upload folder here i want to do i want to paste it that is a logging.png okay here i want to do and to load it uh, if you go by default that is actually loaded mm, that is one of the auth side whopper okay so that is one of the actually dev class i work behind this that is actually comes from to the uh, our css class so i want to do and to better use one of the custom css so but i want to name it as a auth um, one okay i want to use that different name or auth um, locking I want to use it as a logging so that will be the auth logging side whopper so down this type of on the different class i want to use uh, in same page okay here i want to actually create another style so if you already know a little bit that style then it, that will be very easy one of the style i want to load so that is on the class class name right here we have to do have to load that class name that i have named it as a auth logging side whopper right you can see there is a auth logging side offer great great so that is our class and in here i want to do i want to use some of the wide wide will be as a hundred percent okay make it as a hundred percent and then also want to use as a height height will be as a hundred percent hundred percent okay and then also i want to do and to use some of the background image so that will be the background background okay background image so i want to use that as a background image background image will be one of the url right and our url type will be which one here i have already added that things in our public folder here i have created another new folder as a upload so if you want to access this one then we have to do have to first of all access that public if you want to access that public what exactly you have to do first job is we have to add that as an asset right right now we are able to access that our a public folder and into the public folder i have created one of the new folder as upload so that will be the upload and after that upload that is our file name as a locking.png so that will be the locking.png great so friend that's all you have to do now it should be get that our url that means background images now click as a save all now if you refresh it hmm perfect you can see it's now successfully loaded now that is very look at it great okay great here we successfully done this job if you log in with the email and then password now logged in successfully logged in great so now friend here we will do a lot of work so before going more further i want to do i want to um, simply fresh our total back end okay which things will be needed i want to take it and rest of this i want to actually remove some of the things from here so how to refresh it in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video